Uh, let me make as clear as I can that uh, Memorial Day is not a time of celebration. It is a time of commemoration. And we honor on Memorial Day our war dead. Veterans Day is a time to honor all veterans who have served the United States of America. From the revolution to uh, the most recent conflicts, uh, including, of course, still involved in the theater of war in Afghanistan. But Memorial Day, historically, Decoration Day. Memorial Day is a time that we set aside to honor those who lost their lives so that we might continue to live in freedom. And uh, one of my most solemn responsibilities is on issues of war and peace as a member of the Congress. And it is only because of the efforts of those who have served us across the decades that we are able to assemble here this morning that I am able to engage in free speech. Now, regarding the Blue Star uh, Memorial, founded 70 years ago, let us briefly go back to 1944. It was unclear in 1944 how long the war would continue. It was becoming clearer that we would win the war, but it was unclear how long that great conflict uh, would exist. In uh, a little while, a week and a half, the President of the United States will return to Normandy Beach on the 70th anniversary of T-Day. On behalf of the entire nation, the President will speak, and I am sure he will speak eloquently, of the brave sacrifices of those who liberated the continent of Europe, beginning on June 6th, 1944. And it is in that context that uh, the program was begun here in New Jersey with the Garden Clubs. In 1944, the governor of New Jersey was Walter E. Edge. He had been governor in the First World War, United States Senator, ambassador to France under Herbert Hoover, and again governor in the Second World War. And it was he who signed the legislation into law from the state legislature, making all of this possible. What we rededicate this morning, ladies and gentlemen, is a reaffirmation of the values we share together. The values about which I'm sure the President will speak uh, in a week and a half. As his predecessor, Ronald Reagan, 40 years after D-Day, spoke at Pont de Hoc about the boys of Pont de Hoc, mm -hmm. then men in Lincoln, <coughs> in 1984. Very few of us can recall World War II, but all of us are beneficiaries of those who served. And that is what we honor today. That is what we honor in the rededication of this wonderful, wonderful program. Um, flowers and trees bloom in the freedom that exists in this country. Freedoms that we share this morning based upon the sacrifices of so many. On behalf of the Congress of the United States, I congratulate all of those involved. And my solemn wish this morning is that we might continue to live in freedom. A freedom that exists because of the sacrifices so many. And let me end by saying uh, the immortal words of Lincoln, first spoken in 1862, and as true today as when first spoken, America, mankind's last best hope on earth. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.